Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know that it has been a long time since I made a video, but you know I was on vacation. It's summer holidays and school has just started, so I was getting busy. But I'm finally back. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and today I have thought that we are going to be making some low poly foods, some iso isometric foods. And here, let me go over to UV editing and open up the picture that we are going the of the foods that we are going to be making. All right, here we have it. So we have a uh, seems like McDonald's fries and a burger and a can or soda or something bottle of soda. All right, so let's get started. First off, we can drag the picture a bit to the left so that we can see our workspace a bit more. All right, and for the burger, we can take a look at how many. I mean, it's a cylinder. We can take a look at how many sides it might have. So one, two, three four five six seven eight so it has eight sides and then we can press shift a and import a cylinder and go to this bottom left menu and make the vertices to eight there we go two three four five six seven eight and then we can scale it up and scale it down using s and z just like so now I can see what they've done here. So you can go over to, you can press tab, go over to edit mode, then you can go over to face selection mode. Then you can scale this in a bit and scale it down a bit. Then you can press E, you can scale it in a bit. Then you can press E again, and then scale it in a bit. There we go, that's our bun. And then you can uh, uh, duplicate this move it using G and pressing G and Z and then press R Z and press R Y and 180 R Y 180 there we go then we can fix this bottom bun to make it look like it's a bit like bigger I would say a bit thick there we go all right and now we can work on the Alright, so let's just make the cheese. So let's take the cylinder, 8 vertices again, press S and Z. Let's make this cheese a bit thin and let's make it a bit bigger than the actual burger. There we go. And as you can see, they have made the cheese a bit floppy or yeah. So we can also do that. You can go over and subdivide the cheese and then go to vertex select. Then just move it down from areas if you want. You can press subdivide again so it's a bit more smooth. There we have our cheese. And then you can press the cylinder again. Now let's press S and Z. Now you can make the patty. So let's move it over here a bit smaller than the cheese. Then you can select both of these faces and then go over from uh, and select individual origins and press E. Now it's extruding from both sides, and then press S, there we go, there we go, alright and now you can make the lettuce, you can take this cheese, duplicate it, and you can spin it, RZ180, just like that, and you can press G and Z, you can make this a bit thinner, press S and Z, press G and Z, then you can move this bun towards the salad. There we go. Now you have our burger. If you want, then you can color this. So let's color this one. Press new. And base color if you want, then you can just select this. Let me just hold this one. Just select the color. And press new. And just hold this and press the color. Or I can now just copy the hex code if I want to. Uh, let me take the hex code. C control C and go over to this. Hex control V. There we go. Then this burger we can put this to a bit brown I guess. About there. Then let us to like line. About there. And then cheese to a bit like darker yellow. 
about there all right so there we have our simple burger and now for the cold drink let's see how many vertices this has one two three four right that one also has four let's take our cylinders so that's eight all together let's make this a bit longer that make this a bit wide then you can go to wireframe by pressing Z and then selecting all of these bottom edges then press S just like that and you can press E and S and then and then you can press E just like so and, and then just put it right here then you can select these then press E and S and press E, press E and S, and press E and press S, and then press E and S, and then press E and press S. There we go. You can make this a bit wider as well, just like that. This should work. And in order to make those white lines, you can add uh, something that's called a loop cut. So press uh, or you can go over here to loop cut there we go you can slide it up then you can select this one as well just like so just like that then let's make the straw the straw over there and let's press a cylinder let's choose like four uh, four for this one just like that and then you can press s g s g and s and then you can go to wireframe vertex select then you can move this one up, G and Z. Then press E and press R to rotate. And then press E and R, E and R, and E. There we have it. Then if you want, then you can uh, press E and S. If you want, then you can, I guess, scale this one. You can add some loop cuts, I guess, if you want to get that shape. Let's add some loop cuts. There we go. And then you can select these ones on the middle and just like scale them just like that. There you have our straw. And for these um, individual colorings, you can go to wireframe like this press P and by selection there we go you can so do the same with the top select these it's uh, like so and then press P and selection there we go and now we have the now we have the fries left all right so what you can do is uh, get a cube press G press S and then press S and X scale it down towards the X axis and you can take these fries you can go to uh, wireframe press S and Y press G and A then let's select everything and scale it down a bit just like so and now you can try what you can do is what i think they have done so press s and x you can over to this and press i and then you can press e and s uh, so unselect proportional thing and then s and now you can get uh, how many sides is this one two three four five six so six sides uh, so 12 in total there we go rx90 rz90 and what i think they have done is they have used a boolean on this one 
let's see one two three four five six so they have done what i'm doing right now all right and now you can select this go to mod add modifiers and then you can add a boolean modifier then for the object you can click it on the cylinder there we go now you can click on this downward support pointing arrow and click on apply now you can press x on the cylinder there we have it and now for the fries you can just take a mesh shift a and then just select a bunch of cubes and then just scale them up make some shorter make some wider just so on so just uh, stack them all right there we go there we have our shapes if you want then you can fill up the back as well all right and now you can go ahead and color them so press z go to material preview and let's color this part so let's make this white all right and then make new color and make this a bit red just like that you can make this black make this white just like that then just select all of these fries uh, yeah, let's hide this select all of them and for easier instead of having to color all of them individually you can select all of them and control and hit control J or command J if you're in Mac just like that and then you can change the color of them individually we get a good let me get a good color on that there we go all right that looks good and now you can uh, now you have created some good assets so thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great day and stay tuned for more see you